Hi all. This is the first class of MET 204 manufacturing process. S4 mechanical subject, Kerala Technological University. See, the first module mainly dealing with casting process. Casting, sand casting, what are the components in a sand casting mold, pattern, types of pattern, pattern elements, element, uh, elements of gating system, then different casting process, defects in casting and super alloy production of metal. So these are the contents in the first module. So we are starting from first module. Okay. What is the definition of a manufacturing process? Manufacturing process is basically a conversion process. There will be an input material that may be in sold state or liquid state that will undergo various conversion process and converted into finished or semi-finished product. So in manufacturing process, the input material may be in sold state or a liquid state. During the manufacturing process, this input material that will undergoing several conversion process and finally producing either a finished product or a semi-finished product. This manufacturing process is classified into basically two types. First one is hot working process and second one is cold working process. Hot working process and cold working process. That's very important point. Hot working process and cold working process. In hot working process, plastic deformation of material will be taken place above recrystallization temperature of that particular material. Hot working process, plastic deformation of material will take place above recrystallization temperature of that particular material. For an example, forging process, rolling process. In all process, forging, rolling, etc., the deformation of material will be taken place above the recrystallization temperature of that particular material. That's now, that's the concept of hot working process. In cold working process, plastic deformation of material will be taken place at room temperature or below recrystallization temperature of that particular material. For example, all sheet metal operations are commonly considered as cold working process, bending, drawing, etc. So that's the difference between hot working process and cold working process. Then what do you mean by recrystallization temperature? See, the hot working process and cold working process are classified based upon the temperature at which the plastic deformation of material will take place. So what do you mean by recrystallization temperature? See, recrystallization temperature is the temperature at which new grain structure start to form above parental grain structure. Recrystallization temperature is the temperature at which new grain structure start to form above parental grain structure. Okay. So, first of all, we are going to discuss about sand casting process. Okay. So, sand casting. See, sand casting is also known as sand mold casting, a metal casting process characterized by using sand as the mold material. See, sand casting process, why it is known as sand casting process is a sand mold which is used for the casting process. That's why it is known as sand casting process. 
sand which is used for making the mold material sand is used as the mold material see sand casting process is considered as a expendable mold casting process sand casting process is considered as a expendable mold casting process you can see it is an expendable mold casting process why it is known as expendable mold casting process in sand casting process after the solidification of the casting the entire mold is destroyed for taking the casting outside such a type of casting process is known as expendable mold casting process see casting process is classified into two types expendable mold casting process and permanent mold casting process in expendable mold casting process after solidification of the casting the entire mold is destroyed then the casting will be taken out there is a separate mold for each casting in permanent mold casting process a permanent metal mold is there which is used for producing thousand number of products so that's the difference between sand casting process uh, expendable mold casting process and permanent mold casting process that's very important point write the difference between expendable mold casting process and permanent mold casting process if there may be a chance so such a question will be there. okay so sand casting is an expendable mold casting process so next topic what are the main parts of a sand casting mold? that's a very important topic what are the main parts of a sand casting mold? see the main parts of a sand casting mold are pop and rack mold cavity and core flask alignment pin gating system riser chillers so these are the main parts of a sand casting mold so we can see the figure of a sand casting mold for explaining see in this subject figure is very important almost half of your mark will be awarded for figure so you have while you are studying you have draw the figure two or three times and study okay so this is the figure of a sand casting mold so what are the main parts of a sand casting mold cop and rack mold cavity and core mold flask alignment pin gating system riser chillers these are the main parts of a sand casting mold so first of all we have cop and rack cop and drag see cop is the top half of a sand casting mold which consists pouring basin sprue riser half portion of mold cavity half portion of mold cavity so cop is defined as the top half of the sand casting mold so this is the top half of the sand casting mold cop is the top half of the sand casting mold which consists a pouring basin sprue riser half portion of mold cavity and drag is the bottom half of the sand casting mold which consists other half of the mold cavity okay so that's a concept of cop and rack so cop is the top half of sand casting mold and drag is the bottom half of the sand casting mold then mold cavity and mold core that is second part of a sand casting mold mold cavity see this this is a mold cavity and this is mold core see mold cavity always give the outer shape of the casting mold cavity always gives the outer shape of a cast if the it may be circular rectangle depending upon the geometry of the cast and mold core this is a mold core which is used to produce hollow casting and mold core is made up of core sand so that's a mold cavity and mold core next one is flask see flask are a rectangular wooden box into which the molding sand is filled flask are rectangular wooden box into which the molding sand are filled so we have top flask and bottom flask according to cop and drag 
Next part is the alignment pin. See, this is the alignment pin, which is used for correctly align the cop and drop drag portion of the sand casting mode, or which is used to properly align the top and bottom flask of a sand casting mode. Next one is gating system. That's very important one, gating system. See, gating system is defined as the path through which the molten material is flowing into mold cavity. That's the definition of a gating system. Gating system is defined as the path through which the path through which the molten material is flowing into mold cavity. Gating system commonly consists pouring cup, sprue, runner, gate. These are the elements in the gating system. See, this is the pouring cup, this is a sprue, there is a runner is present in this figure runner and we have a gate there are mainly four elements in a gating system that are pouring cup runner sprue and gate okay so gating system you can simply say is that gating system is the path through which the molten material will be flowing into mold cavity next part is a rise that's a very important part rise i will give you a small description about riser in this section and we can detailly discuss about risering when we are taking the gating system, gating system name mold. So riser, this is riser. See, riser are also known as feeders, F-E-E-D-E-R-S, feeders. See, there are several purposes for a riser. The main purpose of a riser is, riser fill, riser will provide extra material into the mold cavity during the solidification of the casting in order to overcome solidification shrinkage. Riser will provide extra material into the mold cavity during the solidification of the casting in order to overcome shrinkage. And riser all, always provide directional solidification. Solidification of a casting will be always towards riser. So in order to achieve that, the riser should be solidified after the entire casting has been get solidified. So there are mainly two purpose for a riser. First one is in order to overcome the solidification shrinkage, the riser that will continuously supply extra material to the mold cavity in order to overcome the solidification shrinkage of the casting. Next one, the Riser always provide direction solidification. The solidification of a casting that will be always towards the riser. So in order to achieve this, the riser should be solidified after entire casting has been get solidified. So that's the importance of riser in a sand casting mode. Then the last part in a sand casting mode is a chillers. See, what's the purpose of a chiller? Chiller is an object used to promote solidification in a specified portion of a metal casting mold. Chiller is an object that is used to promote solidification in a specific portion of a metal casting mold. Chiller always increases the cooling rate in a particular portion of metal casting mold in order to uniform the cooling rate in the, to the entire casting. So, chiller that will absorb the heat energy from the casting in a particular portion and increase the solidification rate or cooling rate. So, these are the main components of a sand casting mold. So, sand casting mold consists a cop and rack, mold cavity and core, flask, alignment pin, gating system, riser and chiller. So, this is a very important question. In examination, I think you will have a question uh, with the uh, explain with the figure explain what are the main uh, parts of a sand casting mode. Okay, so you have to what's the important thing is you have to understand what is the function of riser, what are the elements in gating system, what's the function of a chiller. We can deeply discuss these parts in gating system. We have one more uh, part will be coming. In gating system, we can deeply discuss about the parts. Okay.
first one is step for making sandcast image what are the step for making a sandcast image see this is a block diagram which indicating what are the step for making a sandcast image the first step is mold making we have to make a sandcasting mold that is the first step in a sandcasting process see the pattern for top and bottom of making feeders and risers are also added to one of the pattern that is the first step patterns will be making for top and bottom half of the sand casting mold feeders and also riser will add to the one of the pattern commonly wood patterns will be using and metal patterns will be also using in the case of mass production and at the same time sand is preparing in sand casting mold the mold material used for making mold is sand so sand will be prepared so the sand will be the flask then the next step is the sand will be pouring into the flask in which the pattern is placed and sand is compact and both half are made the pattern will be removed and the feed side box is placed on top of bottom box and these two half are aligned correctly by using alignment pin at the same time the molten metal taken from the furnace that is pouring into mold and there will be solidification taking place and after a time uh, sometimes the end air casting uh, mold is breaking and the product is taken outside and the feeder and riser will be get removed and the casting will be uh, undergoing some heat treatment process for increasing the properties so these are the main step in a sand casting this is also very important question and this block diagram is very important uh, if an examination ask what are the steps by explain step by step procedure in a sand casting process you have draw this block diagram so what are the step by step process first step patterns are made for the top and bottom of feeders and risers are added to one of the pattern metal or wooden sand box are placed on the pattern casting sand is poured into the sand box sand is compacted sand box is turned upside down pattern removed feeder side box is placed on top of the bottom box molten metal is poured into feed hole metal solidifies and cools the top sand box is removed the part with the feeder is removed feeders are cut off finished cast product so these are the step in a sand casting process okay so uh, we can wind up the class number 1 so today in this section i have uh, discussed what is the definition of a manufacturing process what is the difference between hot working and cold working process what are the main components in a sand casting mold what is the step in a sand casting process see this pdf note uh, i have provided a, a google drive link in the bottom description you can download the pdf and which can be used for the study okay thank you